Hello, this is Chris Kobe with the League of Women Voters of Portland. You are watching the Video Voters Guide. The League, in conjunction with Metro East Community Media, are here to talk with candidates running in the May 2020 primary election. With me today is Rand Barnett, running for the U.S. House of Representatives in Oregon for the 3rd District, which covers most of Portland and Multnomah County and northern Clackamas County. Welcome, Rand. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're running for Congress? Morning. Um, my platform and candidacy is built on um, climate change action. I've been bicycling for transportation for 30 years. And um, I was also homeless for four years in the transition between being a jazz trombonist and a computer programmer. So I have experience with homeless issues and solutions as well. All right. Well, one of the issues that people think about right now, of course, is how can Congress best address the current pandemic and its economic consequences? Those are probably going to be pretty severe. What do you think? Um, yeah, well, it's obviously a huge issue. I, I, I spent some time here in the last few weeks um, trying to sort out the economic issues of it for myself. Um, I came up with an idea of uh, rent forgiveness and combined with mortgage forgiveness and loan forgiveness. It could pause the economy for a short amount of time, maybe two months. Um, it's a pretty radical idea that's probably unworkable and probably has no legal way to make it happen, but it, it was an interesting way to uh, look at the situation. And, and without mortgage forgiveness, I don't think rent forgiveness is really makes any sense at all. So I, I, I pretty much agree with the way the, the, the federal government has been and the local governments have been addressing this issue through unemployment benefits and small business benefits or, or small business bailouts. Another issue that's connected to the pandemic is that the current one has exposed problems with America's healthcare system. Hospitals are struggling and losing money. Some patients are facing bills they cannot pay. Do you think that our healthcare system needs to be changed? And if so, what changes would you suggest if you became a member of Congress? Well, I think our, our main problems with health are have to do with overconsumption and and uh, um, an abundant society uh, that doesn't really play into the, the current pandemic problem. Um, the current pandemic problem, I, I, I don't think we could really ever be completely co prepared for it. I mean, we could have had some stockpiles of masks, um, but you know, they have shelf life too, and you would have to completely you know, re remake these stockpiles. So it's a tough issue. Um, the pandemic itself, as far as healthcare, um, you know, I'd like a single payer healthcare system. You know, I think that makes sense. I, I, I don't think um, uh, employers paying for your healthcare like they are is kind of an odd system to me. I think single payer would be a better system, but I'm, I'm not really campaigning on that. I, I think climate change is uh, a more pressing issue and um, healthcare is uh, secondary. Okay, turning to more traditional issues and responsibilities of Congress, how should Congress most effectively perform its oversight responsibilities of the executive branch in national government? You know, I've been thinking about this question because I, I knew this was coming up and, and I, I don't really have much of an opinion on this. Um, my mom used to mention gerrymandering all the time. And uh, to, to me, these are kind of outlier issues that I'm sure that are important, no doubt. But, uh, you know, being someone who doesn't have professional uh, political experience, my time is limited and I, I just haven't gotten into these issues. All right. 
Uh, last question for you. Uh, the Electoral College has uh, been on the minds of some people since the last election. Do you favor or oppose the abolition of the Electoral College and why? I'm slightly for um, getting rid of it. Um, I, I think there is a way to have a direct democracy. Um, you know, we're in the we're in this computer age. There, there's got to be a way to securely get all these votes and and count them all. Um, the electoral college. I don't know. There's there's some sense in it, but I I lean a little bit towards um, getting rid of the electoral college. All right. Thank you, Rand, for giving us your views today. Uh, this has been the Video Voter's Guide. The primary election is Tuesday, May 19. Be sure to inform yourself about the candidates, ballot measure, and exercise your right to vote. Thank you for watching.